squirrel. Squirrel. Hey everybody, welcome back to Reaching with Grandpa. Thanks for all stopping by. It's been a reasonably decent uh, Saturday. Five cover, intermittent sprinkles, uh, storms, maybe later, who knows. I just try to make sure that I'm okay. And I hope you guys are too. So, yeah, I've been getting my hands dirty and I've only let a couple of drops of blood today, so it hadn't been a full production day yet. But let's see what I've gotten myself into today. Uh, if y'all enjoy stopping by and visiting with me, please consider sharing, subscribing, liking, commenting. Guys, come on, come on. Uh, most of my audience are older guys like me. I'm 67. And uh, you're from various parts of the country, the world, wherever. Uh, share your thoughts with me uh, about what we're doing here or... I'm not giving out marital advice or making car loans or anything like that, but you know, hey, let's chat about remodels, restorations. I do detailing, uh, what I call industrial detailing during the day, uh, 40 plus hours. So, you know, hey, I'm up for, you know, answering questions or talking to you about some of the things that you have concerns about taking care of your daily driver. So, let's just see what the heck I've gotten myself into now. Uh, well, as we pin a ramic, what's that? Well, I'll tell you what that is. I don't need to tell you what that is. It's a drive shaft. Yeah, well, you know, we're tearing everything else out from underneath here. Well, we need to do this too. So, just minutes ago, I said, you know, let's throw, you know, get under there and get this sucker off. Well, <laughs> she's in pretty sad shape. But here's something that I'm totally unaware of. Is this Mopar or bad installation or what? All the U-joints I've ever replaced on anything I've owned in the past, those cups are inside here, not sticking out. And most of them have like the retainer clip to hold the cups in. That's not a lot of grease. Uh, it's better than none at all. back in here without pulling any of the roller pins. It does have a grease circ. Although it doesn't really look like anybody's ever greased it. About the patina. You get up here, same situation. Is that right? I can't believe that it is. At least nothing I ever grew up with. That's right. Again, look at that. A brand new greaser, which doesn't appear that it was probably ever used, I would say. Oh, man. That's not good. That is going to take some severe restoration. I can do it. It's not impossible. But the one thing that <laughs> when I pulled it, I started dumping tranny fluid all over the floor. Of course, you know, you don't make a mess. You don't accomplish anything. Which just further... Uh, solidified my thought that, you know, transmission's gonna have to have seals. We've got the pan seal and filter. 
uh, gonna need to get the rear seal and the front seal, the uh, torque limiter seal. Uh, and but that's gonna come later after we get her back on the road, so we can take her out and put her on the lift, get her up in the air, disconnect everything, and pull the transmission out to where we can work on it because. There's some linkage issues, blah, 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 that will need to be addressed at that time as well. Right now, we're just trying to get her roadworthy so that we can get her out to put her on the lift. Oh, God, my hands are a mess. So, <laughs> something to do maybe tomorrow if the wife's chore list isn't too long. So, let's see what else is going on over here. Do, 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 do. Well, you saw we got some fat tires. We got them on both sides now. Oh, yeah. Got the brake drums and all that done on that side, and they're done on that side, and I just hope when we put the juice to it that they all hold together. I'm real sketchy about them, but it is what it is. So I've been putting a little work on trying to get the wheels for the front all pretty, like the back ones. And what else have I been doing other than falling over everything? Oh, well, let's see. Hey, we got the torsion bar out of the drinker side. And working on getting it cleaned up. It's, uh, you know, yellow stripe. Now, I have no idea what this means. I, and I don't recall from the other torsion bar it being color-coded. So this one's on the right side. Yellow stripe. Uh, if anybody can give me some, you know, info on if this has any significance in the world today. I would appreciate it because I'm just trying, you know, this is a learn-as-you-go project for me. Oh, look what happened today. Got the torsion bar out. We got the lower control arm out. Oh, my God. So, here it is. And now the fun begins of getting all of this cleaned up restored and then getting the old pivot shaft and bushing out in anticipations of the currently back ordered replacement parts for that and the other side oh, it just never ends i could use a team of archaeologists in here or whatever yeah we don't when we pulled that drive shaft we did dump some fluid, so I have got a mess underneath here to clean up. <laughs> Probably need to call one of those, you know, fire flood restoration companies to help out here. Anyway, and continuing my separation of bolts, screws, nuts, and bolts and specialty doodads and trying to figure out what to do with them all. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Just wanted to let you know that we're still out here trying to get this old girl back together. We're, you know, we're starting to see some light. Hallelujah. At the end of the tunnel, as it were. And so, I'm excited. I really want to see us have this girl back driving she's not gonna be perfect there's still gonna be plenty to do but oh the pitman arm should be here the first of the week and the glass weather stripping and seals and all that should be here sometime next week as well still waiting for the key component to putting the front end back together, but hopefully that's not going to be too long. So, we are constantly trying to move forward. 
Dun, dun, dun. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Come on, guys. Like, share, subscribe. We're a little over 700, and I appreciate all of you guys that are hanging out with me. But surely you got a brother, cousin, a friend, somebody that, you know, will subscribe and not really care. I'm not trying to sell you uh, t-shirts or nothing. So, you know, come along for the fun. Pop cold adult beverage. Grab you your favorite whatever. And let's wrench. See you soon. Bye-bye.